All right, part two, Fat Bee Man. We are doing some grafting, and Michelle's digging the money out. Let me get a close-up of it. We got our bar sitting here. Just come straight up so you don't roll it. Okay. And right down, try to get it right before it's a good C. Just holding, marking your spot. There's a B. And you just go right under. I'm trying to get the ones with just lots of royal jelly. Come straight up. Straight back down in the same position that she was laying. All right, on the next one, we are going to take the larva out and we are going to look at the larva before you install it into the cup. Okay. Now, I try to teach this method here step by step. And all right, we're going to get a. There is your larva that you want to use. Okay, now we're going to put it into the cup. Now, <clears throat> we're back in the bee lab, and I'm going to pan up to our thermometer. We would like 80 minimum, and we're just a little over the 80 there. Get to about 90 to 92 is better, but. We're doing what we have to do. Now this is a process is like riding a bicycle. If you don't get it one time, keep practicing. And right now we have an overcast day. Looks like it's going to rain. So we're doing the best we can. But if you're going to be a commercial beekeeper, you need to be able to make these queens in any condition. That is, if you want to eat on a regular basis. <laughs> you feed your children. Yes. And that one just rolled as it came up. So okay, it's down. If you roll one, Michelle's already learned, you, you get them off the grafting tool. Yep, don't use it. This probably is not the most ideal frame to graft from. It's a much smaller one. Okay, let's get a closer one there. All right, we got us a good picture of that there. there okay. And we have our new student, Wade. We're going to let Wade do a bar and get this other one finished. Then we'll get that set up into the thing. We're using a five frame nuke box as our starter and I'm, I'm at this time of the year I'm using a starter finishing so what I'll do is I'll put this in and we'll see how they look in about seven days yep probably tomorrow I'll add another two pounds or three pounds of bees in that five frame box we got more than enough in there now but <clears throat> We don't have a honey flow on, so I don't want the bees to rob it out. And the box is set up with a entrance reducer and a hive top feeder. So we got everything we need in the box, and we're going to add feed every day, two times or three times a day. This is going to probably be a long video as far as this section here, but I'm showing you the, the process that we do here, and uh, we'll do it in segments. When you've got a good frame to graph from, you get up here and it'll look just like a, a little sewing machine needle going in and going out. It just Right now it's a hunt, search, pick, and, and choose. And uh, this is actually at the end of August. And uh, we're not working under the most ideal conditions. But we're doing this to show you you can graft all the way up into November. As long as you have good grafting days, temperature-wise, and enough bees, enough pollen, enough feed, you can make queens. Now the next thing you need is plenty of drones. 
No drones, no mated queens. Guessing they have a baby to be right here. Brand new. Once Michelle gets proficient at this, she'll be opening up her own business and old Don will be back in the lab back here by himself again. But if you're watching these videos, you see we, we turn out quite a few students. It's in and out, in and out. I guess I bore a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> well, Michelle is getting proficient at this, and she is going to have her own business, and her husband is going to run her business. Okay. Or my husband's going to run the business and I'm going to make the... You're going to spend the money. I'm going to make the queen. <laughs> Our four boys will spend the money. Not Need not worry about that. All right, after you get those the last two there. Now, when you're doing yours, are you putting your finger or your thumb by the, the cell that's to be grafted to next? You're asking me or Wade? Wade. Uh, well, it's a way that we try to, it's easier for some people who has to take time to refocus. You lose your place where you're going to put the graft. So it's just common sense type thing. We keep our finger there and then we know. Just mark it with my finger, and then as I slide it down, I keep the finger in front of the one that I'm placing. All right, now we're going to let gra uh, Wade, he's going to come over here and he can graft. Mm -hmm. Now check the end, make sure it's loose. You're loose? Okay. Yeah. Now Wade has done some grafting in the past, so come over here to be more proficient and teach old fat beam in a few tricks. Nope, that one's not gonna work. The end of it split. The end of it split. <laughs> Maybe one of my students was chewing on it, got hungry. <laughs> <laughs> So what we try to do is get the the larva out of there when it comes from the egg to the larva and just starts to bend is is the most ideal. But some of the students get it to where it's starting to, to bend over almost to a C. And personally, I think it's a little too late. Uh, you're not getting the best queens. All right, got a bee in here talking to me already. And here I thought I was going to have to put the, the heat on. It's getting warm in here. Now, <clears throat> if a lot of people that's grafting, usually if you get, you pull up a larva and you roll it, the best thing to do is either wipe it off with your finger. Some of the people, they use their lip to pull it off. Uh, I wouldn't suggest using your pants, your, your clothes in that because if you do that, you're cross-contaminating and then when you get uh, that on a uh, hair or any of that material on your grafting needle, and then you're not going to get as good a take. But this, this is not high-tech stuff here. This is basically hard work and patience. Prayer. And prayer. got to pray a lot, yeah. <laughs> that always helps. If you can't find any there, turn that frame over and see if there's any on the better side, of the, on the other side there. Now, another thing is one student grafting and then another student grafting is sometimes one student will be doing something and the student Another student watching will pick up things at a different angle and apply them to what they're doing. So one student is basically helping out another student.
see, we're running just about 10 minutes. Oh my you, usually old fat b mans run out of gas by then. But we're going to finish up the last couple cells here and then we're going to go out and we're going to stick it into the, the breeder box or our cell builder. And I'm going to do part three of showing you the breeder box. Set up the, the box there. We set that up and it's been queenless for over 24 hours. So our take should be fairly good even at this time of the year. And then when he finishes that, uh, Michelle will put that bar in there and then she'll show you how we invert it to put it into the our box out there. Hopefully in the spring we'll use our timing box. All right. Now we are heading out to the put it in.